ASME is presenting the Timoshenko Medal to Dr. Subra Suresh, a distinguished engineer and scientist and director of the National Science Foundation. Dr. Suresh is being honored for pioneering contributions and visionary leadership in the field of mechanics of biological materials and for the development of novel experimental techniques and multi-scale models for living systems and infectious diseases and for global leadership in mechanics of medicine. Dr. Subra Suresh's career has been filled with success and accomplishments, but he did not spend his childhood planning for a future in technology or science. I cannot claim that I built uh, radios as a hobby or played with chemistry sets or anything. But he was good at math and science, so he attended the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, and traveled to the United States for his graduate degrees. I got on the plane with uh, probably a little less than $100 and headed for Ames, Iowa. He finished his master's degree at Iowa State and his doctorate at MIT and went on to hold faculty positions at Brown and MIT. Since 2010, he has been the director of the National Science Foundation, work that has broadened and deepened his sense of scientific inquiry. And the thing that excites me is it gives me an opportunity to look at science from a completely different vantage point. Now I have to look at every field of science and engineering. Like that of NSF, his own research has always been very multidisciplinary, building on his solid foundation as a mechanical engineer. He has researched fracture mechanics and fatigue at very different scales, from large pipelines to films and coatings on computer chips. But Dr. Suresh had never worked with organic materials. I was talking to a biologist and he said, you're always working with dead materials. Why don't you work with living materials? For example, why don't you work with DNA? Why don't you work with the biological cells? We can use the same tools from physics and material science. Dr. Suresh realized that everything he knows about mechanics could be applied to living materials, creating tremendous opportunities for discovery through interdisciplinary research. He began studying the mechanics of human diseases, such as malaria and cancer. We have engineering, and biology not only intersecting, but intersecting with nanotechnology, where you not only look at the organ level or the tissue level, you have such precise tools now. You can go to the cell level, molecule level, DNA level, RNA level, and you can bring mechanical engineering in contact with not only biology, but with human diseases. As NSF's director, he has always been mindful of creating opportunities for young scientists and engineers to do the kind of work he has enjoyed. If you want to keep the U.S. at the forefront of science, you want to have the best scientists, where we attract the best and the brightest from all over the world. 